You've got to figure out what's the shot you're going to hit. Do you predominantly hit the ball left to right? Do you predominantly hit the ball right to left? And then, how does the shot that you normally play fit into this fairway? So let's say for the sake of argument that you're a person that likes to cut the ball. Well, this is going to be a really hard shot for you. We've got to start this ball out over the water. Even if it's just a sliver of the water, you've got to start it out over that water. And if it doesn't cover the ground, you've got to either re-tee the shot or drop up there, which is basically no, no difference. So you've got to really trust that motion. What are we going to do when we're trying to make sure that we get that cut? Well, what I want to do is make sure that my body is rotating. What I also want to make sure of is, is that when I come through here, that the knuckles of my lead hand are in an upward direction. I don't want to let them turn down. That's going to shut the face. I've got to let the knuckles of the lead hand stay in an upward fashion. That's going to ensure that this ball is going to get to the, the cut side. So there's my little cut shot. That started out over the water. Now it's fading back into the fairway. That shot's going to work out just fine. But let's say for the sake of argument that you're a little bit intimidated. You don't want to pull the driver out of the bag. So we've got to get the three wood. Now when we get the three wood, what that allows us to do is it allows us to miss now to the push side a little bit more because we're not going to hit the ball through the, the, the fairway over here on the right hand side. And we're basically, if we turn this thing over from right to left and it goes into the water, well, we're going to get all that ground because that ball's going to be out over the land. So we're going to gain that distance. What I want to do at that point is I'm going to get a little bit more over to the, to the side of the water. And that's going to allow me to just get a little bit better angle. And then I'm going to start this thing out to the right again. High targets, just the same. So I'm starting this down the right hand side. And you're going to see that three wood, that ball is going to have a little bit of a draw to it. And what, we'll, what we will find is that may be farther than the tee shot that I hit because when I'm coming through with the tee shot, I'm holding off that toe a little bit so the ball is not going to turn over. It's going to be hit with a little bit more loft. When I'm taking this three wood and I'm letting this go, that ball is going to get on the ground. It's going to have a little bit more topspin and that ball is going to going to trundle down the fairway. I may have less club going in there with the three wood and it's so important for you to understand that if you go to the fairway wood, don't assume that you're going to lose distance. So many times I see players get the three wood out and they make a smaller swing. Now, if you want to go back to the driver and do something similar to what we did on 16, we're going to hit that draw. What I like to do is I like to borrow just a little bit more on the right hand side. That gives me a little bit more confidence to know that I can let this ball turn over and when the thing turns over, I'm not worried about it getting into the water. So you can see how it starts out to the right. Now it's turning over a bit more, but what we're going to find is that that ball is right in the fairway. Those are your options that when you get here, you have to take care of. Those are the things that I want you to think about so that when you stand on the tee, you've got that confidence.